Hello, Alec. Hello, Stuart. It's the 90s again. Yeah. Did you get the call? Did you get the old calendars out? I, I did indeed. I'm currently dressed as Scary Spice, so... I thought that was just for me. I'm a bit disappointed now. Anyway, Star Wars then. Yeah. Let, let's have a look at the Star Wars figures, which returned to the shelves in 1995 after, after how many years away? Uh, about a decade. Yeah. Ten years, I guess. A good ten years. There's been nothing Star Warsy going on much other than the few books. Yeah. And the special editions of the original trilogy were then coming out. Yeah, they were sort of people were aware they were going to be a thing that was going to happen, but not much hype at that point. If only I'd known, I would watch The Empire Strikes Back in a dodgy little flea pit in Lowestoft, and one of the speakers was buzzing the whole time. I'm sure my excitement would have been slightly less. Sounds like the best way to watch the best <laughs> Star Wars movie. <laughs> I remember being very perturbed by the CGI jab of the hut in the first one, but let's not get into that. We want to see what 90s kids had when they went and bought their Star Wars figures. Just like in the movie. Is he going to stand? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there's, there's something standing out to me here, and they're pecs. Luke got ripped. So I'm guessing that. Well, what is the story here? Do you know the story? I, I if anybody was going to know the story, <laughs> it was I. Um, and uh, also, tell us why he's got a giant egg whisk because I'm really excited. That I have no clue about. It's whatsoever. supposed to be the grapnel gun he uses. All the grap- I, I but he doesn't guess... have a gun, does he? he? Just throws it. Yeah, it's. Um, I don't know what it is, and I don't know why it's there, and I. It is a cooking implement from a galaxy far, far away. Um, It's to keep him safe a distance while he cooks. I like the the idea that this is like his the Star Wars equivalent of a BB gun because Luke's (laughs) not old enough to get a firearms license, but he's old enough to get ripped as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Steroids not a problem on Tatooine apparently. I mean, the face isn't that bad either. It's. I guess, relative to the rest of it, though. His giant lightsaber is jabbing the lens. Yeah, yeah. the lightsaber is as tall as him as well. <laughs> ah, oh my god. So I know, right. So they did actually release later ones with shorter lightsabers, didn't they? Yeah. And you, for a while you could buy ones that had a long hole in the package for it, but a short yeah. saber, which we all thought was going to be rare. It wasn't. That didn't happen, did it? None of these are even a little bit rare, unfortunately. Uh, no. Um, but... In 1994, I guess, um, Kenner slash Hasbro Toys were in a position where they had all of the moulds for the vehicles from the original Star Wars films and thought, we could probably recycle these and make a bit of money. Mm. The big problem they had was that the market didn't really know what Star Wars was, so they decided we will rebrand Star Wars for the 90s and we will make everybody hench because the biggest thing in movies at the moment is Arnold Schwarzenegger and the biggest thing in children's toys at the moment is Batman. So their response was to create a line of Star Wars-inspired figures that were all fuck-off massive. So Mark Hamill skipped leg day? Mark Hamill did, and (laughs) as a consequence, he cannot stand up, which will be a recurring theme. What the fucking hell? I mean, it is an unbelievable thing. He has got the world's most muscular chest and the world's tiniest wee legs. Yeah. Also, quite bad spinal curvature, I think, going on there or something. He's he's not a healthy man. (laughs) (laughs) The steroids have taken their toll. What I loved about this figure as well is they reused... So they released all the vehicles as well, and the vehicles were just the original vehicles from the 70s repainted. Mm, Well do I remember. So I had the X-Wing fighter that went with this. Luke is too hench to fit in the cockpit (laughs) without having to squeeze his arms in. And on my X-Wing fighter, there are two bends in the plastic (laughs) from where Luke has pushed out the sides of the X-Wing. Because of his fuck off guns. My God. And you don't mean the actual shooty guns. No, you mean. Because that thing's a piece <laughs> of shit right there. <laughs> oh my God. These, these were hell of a What was your relationship with these? Were these the figures you had growing up? Yeah, this was. Um, I got this for my seventh birthday. This Luke Skywalker oh. figure. So, um... I'm older than you, so I had a full time job and I just bought them all because I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> 
I had literally all the figures we're going to show today, except I, maybe one. I think even as a child, I was disappointed with these because they looked so unlike the characters in the film. Kids but, want them to look like what yeah. they look like on the bloody yeah. screen, even if vaguely not fucking you know Schwarzenegger's yeah. brother here. But there was there was literally that was your Star Wars that or the bendable ones. Oh um, no, don't. That's a separate video. Yeah. yeah. Um, but but that was your Star Wars when I was growing up. So that was what you had. But. Um, well, what else did we have then? I'll just put him down carefully. Well, you can't have. <laughs> it's the first time. <laughs> the first time he's ever stood up. Good Lord, when the lightsaber is so long that it can hold up the entire figure. Now that's using the force. There we go. All right. Well, we've had Luke Skywalker. His, oh, his... well, do I. Hang on. To quote Rose yeah. Rosemary's baby, what's wrong with his eyes? <laughs> Han, Han Solo flex with the shifty eyes. That, it, <laughs> mine wasn't like that, I'm sure. No, I think this was... I bought this off of a kid at the in the playground at school I when I was... Did the kid have eyes somewhere. like that as well? And he had, painted them on <laughs> to make yourself feel better. <laughs> <laughs> His mum sat there meticulously with a Q-tip. Be all right, John. Be all right. Oh my god! Yeah. Again, the face. There's a hint of Harrison Ford, but um, the legs on this one as well. Just, yeah, he's, he's so hench on top and so dainty on the bottom. Plus, the legs are in a really like, weird position where he's just going to stand like this. It it kind of just looks off. It doesn't help that you cannot have him looking where he's shooting with this particular <laughs> one. I think this is That's true. this is a bad figure, but this was a particularly bad example. Wherever he points the gun is is not where he is. I uh, my problem with this also, what's with that second gun, the rifle? This is a recurring theme. Uh, they they liked packing in. Um, and again, because they were thinking kids don't know what Star Wars is, they went, kids uh, want hench, kids want fuck off guns. So Everybody had been shown Star Wars by their dad. They yeah. all had it on VHS. Uh, uh, well, this was the funny thing with these, because they ended up being tremendously popular, much more popular than um, I think Kenner ever thought they would, for exactly that reason, because there was a huge nostalgia market out there, and everybody that had watched Star Wars as a kid was then old enough to buy them for their kids. And I think that was... Right, I never bought any of the vehicles. How does he sit in the Falcon? Not very well. <laughs> um, especially when this brute is his co-pilot. Cause... Oh, good old Chewbacca. He's, he's not skipped conditioner day, has he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the most silky smooth Wookiee that Kashyyyk ever produced. Because I'm worth it. Which is how a Wookiee would speak if they could speak English. It's like a drunk Brian crossbow Blessed. crossbow is also lighter than his legs, which is... <laughs> they were definitely into the big guns they He came on. with an even larger rifle that has gone missing over Thank many God years. God for that. I don't remember the rifle, actually. It was, actually, huge. It was the size yeah. of him. It was massive. Oh my um, God. And again, because it was the old... Um, Molds for the vehicles. Han and Chewie, the only way they were so big that the only way you could get them to sit in the Millennium Falcon cockpit was by making them hug, because that was the only way that they would sit. Like down it was Life it. Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. There we are. That doesn't really work either. It looks like he's throttling him or giving him some horrifying bear hug. There we are. Now it looks like they're waltzing. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we've found the point of this. And Han's this. legs are in the perfect place for it as well. Oh. And yet yeah. they died. Yeah. Dance being very lethal in the Star Wars universe. Go on then, show us Leia. Well do I remember Leia. Leia has a reputation that proceeds. So, yeah, she, this figure is referred to as Monkey Face Leia for a reason. It's like a bonobo... Danish world stuck to the side of its head. Plus, the top of the hair is has no volume. It's like Chewbacca used all the conditioner, <laughs> <laughs> and hers is just stuck to a scalp with chip fat. But yeah, th this is a hot mess, isn't it? Yeah. She didn't have a cape. She just wore a gown. Yeah. So this, it's all wrong. She came with some massive gun. Yeah, as which well, is also gone missing. <laughs> I think saying uh, something about my being a stickler for movie accurateness, the only weapons that seem to remain with mine are the ones they actually had in the movies. I think I might have thrown all of the um, 
ridiculous ones out in a fit of despair at the age of eight. We should confirm these are all Alex figures from his childhood collection. I also had them all, um, but I sold them at a car boot sale years ago to pay the rent. Hey! Yeah. And I got nothing for them. Hey! And they're still worth nothing today, yeah. so that's fair Yeah, this is the thing. People bought these up. The 90s was like the speculative market for comics and toys, and when vintage Star Wars was getting really valuable, so loads of people bought these, um, kids and collectors, and... Um, they just didn't, they're not worth anything, didn't catch on at all. So um, buying these mint on card will cost you less than it did in 1995. Good God, is... even adjusted for inflation. Yeah. Bloody hell, these hands are awful. Yeah. They're just like paint snubs. Right, so we're going to remove the cape and show you her actual proportions. Ready? It's like something from a Guillermo del Toro film, like <laughs> <laughs> The Stick Lady. Has she ever eaten? Um, she should probably see a doctor or something. Um, There's something. Is basically a skeleton clad in white cloth. But her her um, hideous proportioned figure means that she's the only one that can sit in the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> so Princess Leia <laughs> has is to strip off to the, do it. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. My the God. indignity of this is definitely like a horror movie creature. I'm out of focus. Oh my god. Right, next. Um, I was going to say they get better, but they don't yet, do they? They did get better a very yeah, long time later. Eventually, but we've got a way to go until we're out of the woods. Oh. 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 And again. Oh, I'd forgotten how bad the face was on the Stormtrooper. Also, why has he got a rifle the size of a small planet? <laughs> it might he just got the Death Star with him on a bit of string. God, let's, let's uh, give the audience a look at that face. That lovely face. I like that they put muscles on a face that's a helmet. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a computer program, add yeah. muscle. It's happened to the armour as well. It's just... Which is not very good at all. And this was the Stormtrooper for years, wasn't yeah. it? Because they corrected a lot of the other figures, but... Yeah. We'll come back to that, because this, this, this fine fella might make a reappearance. Oh, good. Yeah. Right, next. Um, right. Everybody remembers Billy D. Williams' turn. As oh, Lando, Lando Calrissian. Calrissian. Like, he's... he's very blue. Yes. You know, he has that... Um... 70s flares and boots. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then you see the abs... It's the perfect Cloud City Lando until you see just how ripped he is. <laughs> My God. If Billy D. Williams did that many steroids in the 70s, they would still call steroids to this day a bottle of Billy D's. <laughs> That's just... My God. Let's get this cape off him so he looks even worse. He actually comes with the right guns, which is uh, the one... Good thing well, I that's can true. Find yeah, Nick Stormtrooper rifle, yeah. and uh, yeah, but but my god, I mean the face again isn't bad. Yeah, but it's uh, a reasonable. But, but then just in scale with the the rest of him, it is bloody. Ad. He's he must have roid rage cops. I'm angry all the time, and I don't know why. And, and um, something about a deal getting worse. I don't know. I don't know. Just got to eat more eggs, more milkshakes, more milkshakes. Bloody hell! It's um, yeah. Possibly my favourite Star Wars character, completely ruined in this, <laughs> in this piece of plastic. Well, you like Star Wars and you like weightlifting? What's the problem? <laughs> Can't you together, have those two Stuart. things together? Not together. <laughs> I like this. It looks like some sort of boat or something by the time you take oh, that, it off. That weird thing with 90s toys where they have the rock-solid capes that you just... <laughs> it's a coracle you can go to sea on. Yeah. Next up on the agenda of fun... Or gender of body horror, yeah. perhaps. Well, we've got the boss man himself. Oh, of course. Hench Vader. <laughs> there he is. With another ginormous lightsaber. That's, that, is, that is a thing. That is definitely a thing. So the face isn't too bad. It's a little bit elongated. Um, and very dusty. Yes. <laughs> That's good. It brings out the detail on camera. Um, yeah, it's kind of... Mm, too hench again. I mean, Vader was a big, strong bastard, well, but not in this sort of bodybuilding the sense. The funny thing is that um, the um, the original <laughs> a bit too much starch, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the The original Vader figure from the the seventies line was really weedy. Yes, like, too weedy. Right That's at all. entirely it's true. Like they overcompensate. So it's, 
<laughs> he's been, he got laughed at. He's been in the gym for the 20 yeah. years since. Yeah. Good God. Right, show us Ben Kenobi. Let's get it over with. <laughs> so, um, quite a little bit of uh, Willie Nelson going on, perhaps. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure in the face. Um, it's not awful, is he's, it? He's, I think the, the worst offence with this one is... The awful this, cape. Yeah. This thing. Oh, God, that's yeah, worse than I even remember. Yeah, actually, with that off, that's not too bad. Yeah. I mean, you know, that that is Ben Kenobi in his robes and stuff. Yeah. But then we've got the spirit of Obi-Wan. <laughs> <laughs> you can make Darth Vader kick it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> How's that for movie accurate? <laughs> My there God. Go. It does just look awful on because it does not fit on properly. And it's yes. just clearly yeah. a lumpy thing. And there's bits around the shoulder where it isn't over. And, ooh, it's all a bit this shy. This is a recurring theme with all of these, though. Any item of clothing that is meant to go on a figure will inevitably look terrible. On the plus side, it's the only figure they didn't make incredibly ripped. It's true. He, he still can't stand up. Um, <laughs> That's just the boot. <gasps> what? See, magic off that the sofa. That is ridiculous. Yeah. First time, in one of those. Twenty years, I have never seen that. <laughs> oh, even stood up a little bit when I blew on it. My God! Wow! Right, bloody hell! Bring us in another. Okay. Um, I think we will go with the sole item. Oh from my God! Right. Yeah. Yes, I'd forgotten this. Yeah, th this I bought from eBay because I got rid of mine. But right. So this is the epitome of n making action figures nineties. Right. It's R five D four, famous for having a bad motivator. Yeah. Um, basically, they're going to buy him, but he blows up, so they don't. Yeah. That's his contribution to the film. So th there's a couple of problems here. Um, first minor problem is they've attempted to give it a dirty, sand-covered look with a sort of uh, paint speckling, and it doesn't quite work. It just looks a bit sort of, uh, well, like it's been speckled with paint, really. Mm. Like a paint can has exploded near him. Which is less impressive. Kind of feel with it like we're skirting around the major yes, issue. Yes, yeah, like... yeah, we are slightly. Yeah, we'll, we'll go into another one. Look, they, they've connected his back legs together. Yeah, that's that's not working for me. I mean, I know they're trying to give it a bit of detailing and stuff to keep it in universe, but it just looks wrong. Also, this doesn't move, so he's permanently at this angle and can't stand up straight. There we the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> the laser cannons they have attached to his legs. I can't help feeling that um, Owen and Baru would have had another use for him if he could shoot the shit out of anything that walked in front of him. It might have ended up very differently for them if they'd <laughs> gone with this particular... We've repaired him and also he's covered in guns. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. They don't hide away or anything, so they can't pretend it's hidden. They've it just stuck guns on R5-D4, but... You may have noticed the action feature down the bottom. Let's show them the best bit. This, this is R2. why he blew up. This R2 unit has a bad-ass motivator. <laughs> They've turned him into a missile launcher. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he doesn't work, because they've hollowed him out yeah. to hire missiles which uh, will actually fire, I believe. Oh, look at that. Amazing. So, yeah, they thought, well, robots are a bit boring, innit? Let's turn it into a fucking missile launcher. Hey, there are inevitably many of these out there uh, where kids have destroyed them, and these bits are lost. So the only <laughs> thing that exists is just this headless... <laughs> this weird stump. Of... <laughs> headless half-torso of a Star Wars robot. And you know that there is somebody on eBay asking, like, £35 for that yeah, headless oh stump because they think it is valuable. Just to reiterate, none of these are worth any money. So if no, you have no. these in your attic and think that you're on to... On, uh, you're, you know, university fees or whatever. Forget it. It's, it's not. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Let's have a look at a couple of the really bad ones. Ooh. Well, I knew where your hand was going to go as soon as uh, I said that. <laughs> this is the bane of my fucking childhood. This figure, <laughs> I hate it so much. Well, let's show it. It looks all right when you first show it. Look, Emperor's Royal Guard. Right, so there, the, is. there was a book called the Star Wars Action Figure Archive, and my own Stephen Swan Sand Suite. And yep. my only reference to this as a kid was this picture, and I thought, ah, oh, he looks great. He looks like a royal guard. And then I got it and discovered that it's a fucking chocolate mold. It's a <laughs> lint Santa Claus. <laughs> it's a dog toy <laughs> in the form of like. <laughs> 
what is this? It's entirely what hollow. What the fuck is this? It's such a... <laughs> so stupid. Hey, kids. Stay in school. Yeah, it's not good, is it, really? I mean, later ones, they did actually give him legs. You can't stuff. sit him in anything. You can't do anything with it. <laughs> but unlike every other figure, he will stand up and not fall over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh dear. You, he's even failed at the one thing his, he can do. His head is articulated, but there's no way to turn it because oh, it's... Oh, my God. Mm. I've got the two figures from the Crimson Empire comic right, about okay. the Royal Guards. They're really nice. Yeah, I, I don't. I've got this fucker. <laughs> That is my entire Royal Guard contingent right there. <laughs> this scarlet prick. <laughs> okay, I am so much. Scarlet prick. I hated you when I was eight and I hate you now. Quickly, get C3PO on. He'll calm you down. Oh, God. C3PO with manga proportions. <laughs> now, we should point out to the audience, this isn't the one with limbs that are supposed to come off. They just do because it's badly made. Oh, terrible. Yeah, he's got a little pin head. He's got giant legs. I like that he's also a little hench, just to keep in proportion with him. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like... He's been working out, but he hasn't overdone it like the pretty others. Pretty broad shoulders there. Yeah. The yeah. face isn't bad, but it's a, it's a little off. But... He's not aged very well because of the vac metal thing, which they don't yeah. do anymore. Yeah, you can see where the, it's come off and yeah. there's sort of uh, the paint underneath. I suppose because kids were constantly... It was yeah. flaking off and they were inhaling it or something. Yeah. I know I was. Yeah. Oh, part of the fun. That's the only way you could get through the 90s. <laughs> uh, a bit of R2. You yeah. can't go wrong with R2. This this is one of the better ones, yeah. isn't it? Let's face it. Um, unlike the vintage figure, it actually has what looks like R2's eye. Because uh, there was a big problem with the, uh, the vintage one. But yeah. It just didn't look it's like just, it. It's basically. just a dot, basically, yeah, just in, a the, blue in, the dot. Of, in the middle of chrome. It, it looks weirdly wrinkled. I think they've overdone the sort of lines on him. Yeah. It's an old age R2-D2. I think the recesses are too deep. Um, I do like, however, the third leg you can pull out. And there we are. And all that stuff. Yeah. yeah that's, that's not bad. Not bad at all. They did a later one with like Luke's lightsaber that popped out on a spring. Yeah, in there. Remember that, that was and a sensor scope one. They did all yeah. the ones they did oh. with the vintage line again. Oh, that's good. Well, I got <laughs> my retirement. <laughs> He's back. Don't worry. Nothing keeps R two down. Yeah, that's one of the bells, definitely, isn't yeah. it? Without question. Stay. Yeah. Oh, I've lost him now. Oh no, I'd forgotten this. <laughs> No, look, this this is worse than this one, surely. I mean, it's a much better figure, but just for what it is, right. Who remembers all those soldiers with weird helmets in the first few scenes of the film? The uh, rebel fleet troopers. Who remembers them <laughs> being so hench? It's fucking unbelievable. This, this like, guy could eat Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, my God. And his, his never-ending head under the helmet as well. It doesn't stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> that's creeping me out a bit. But, yeah, the, even the look on the face is uh, he's none too happy. He, he's, he looks more like he's from a Star Wars porno or something. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I've come to fix your washer-dryer droid. Ooh. Look, his vest even comes off, <laughs> re revealing more chest. They were all just old guys, weren't they? Yeah. They certainly um, weren't whatever the hell he is. Yeah, they're all like 60. <laughs> Not Mr. Mr. Fucking beginning. Universe yeah. over here. It's oh a, my god. Uh, yeah. Um, I think that rifle's quite accurate, though. <laughs> it does, no, it's not, because it's just the Stormtrooper rifle with the top bit bolted on. If you it hold is up as well. The, where's the. Um, yeah. It's the same gun it's just an with a different barrel. The eleven with a different barrel. That's yeah. not how it. God, that's ru that's ruined that for me. There you me. go. I'm glad I sold them all. Yeah. Oh god, you've got that sand trooper out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this is a hell of a thing. Right. So yeah, sand trooper, big old gun, takes two hands. Also, right. First point. I'm pretty sure that backpack's upside down, isn't it? I don't think it is. I just think it's far it's, too long. Oh, on his yeah. Back. The, actually, yeah. yes, that's it. It is far too, and it cannot be moved because no. I mean it's very specifically sculpted to fit into a certain yeah. place. But the big problem with this figure is, right? Okay, he's done shooting with his big gun. What can he do now? What he can do is Gangnam style. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, um, uh, maybe he could be drinking from a cup of tea. Is that some blue milk or something? He can be riding along in his automobile. Oh yeah, I like it. Uh, he would if you could bend his legs, but you can't. That's as far. Oh, there you go. That looks comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's been in a really bad accident. Oh my goodness! Oh my wow. grief! Right, let's rip through what we got left. Well, um, we... oh, there's something we didn't mention about R two. If you shine a light, like a torch or something, uh, through the top of his head, his little eye lights up by light piping. Do you know what? I'm going to quickly uh, go get a torch and jump cut because I forgot earlier. Nice. Right, I've got the torch ready. I've got no idea if this is going to work. Uh, kind of not actually. Kind of no. Focus, focus it very precisely. Hey, there we go. It's that's kind of, yeah. That's not really showing up at home, but uh, but oh, because I've got this the wrong way round. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not showing up. There we are. Look. Whoop. So it's like rather than having a light up feature, you just shine light <laughs> through the top. It's just really cheap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> light piping, they call it. It's just a bit of translucent plastic. Unfortunately, they did lose their minds with this later <laughs> and used it somewhere entirely inappropriate. So, not a bad figure of a Jawa. There it is. And actually, it's actually working on camera. If you look oh, at the look. That's weird. Yeah, his eyes are actually glowing. But the thing is, in under normal light, you don't see anything. It just looks like that. And generally, you have to get a torch out to uh, do the whole whoop thing. We've got super bright eyes now. That looks amazing, actually. That's what this was for, being filmed. <laughs> but it ruins the figure, because normally you don't see anything through the eyes, and you end up with a window in his head, which I don't remember being a feature of any of the Jawas, particularly. Unless I missed that scene. Filthy little beasts with their window heads. <laughs> so they did a couple of deluxe ones of these. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, I had these three. There was a Kenobi, a Vader, and... And the Return of the Jedi, Luke. He's missing his lightsaber, so... So, in fact, all he's really got in his hand is a torch. Yeah. But it does actually light up. Functions. Amazing. Now he can light the darkness. If I remember, the Obi-Wan Kenobi had the wrong colour lightsaber because they did. couldn't get it to work with blue LEDs. It is. That's absolutely right. He's got a green one as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. For starters, Luke wasn't wearing a cape in this scene, but they've put it on there in order to cover up the battery mechanism. <laughs> and secondly, he's in a really weird sort of position with his legs and his arms and everything. He also looks about 50. <laughs> but Luke's face closer to the camera. He is... Um, oh, God. Old man Skywalker. <laughs> My favourite thing, though, is to remove the cape to make it more screen accurate. And you end up with uh, not being able to get it off. Ah, there we are. Yeah. The Hunchback <laughs> of Battery Darm. Um, I, what were they thinking with this pose? I really don't understand. It's supposed to be like an action, uh, cross sabres, but it just makes him look like he's been in a bad accident. I have the, um, the Darth Vader of these as well, and they had a dueling station. They connected together and you could make them fight. Oh, God, it had little sticks was, on the yeah. bottom, didn't it? You move them in and out. Which yeah, was fine, that. only after about two minutes of doing that, Darth Vader's lightsaber has snapped in half. Perfect. Because of... Um, because yeah. of cheapness. Yeah. yeah. This is absolutely bloody awful. A, a giraffe neck thing going on as well. Yeah. So that's always a bonus. Lovely. Sit down there, Luke. Now, I, I feel we should show some of the good figures from the 90s. They did improve dramatically after the Hinch series. Well, I think they eventually realised that, A, kids wanted to buy things that looked like the thing from the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that, B, there was a whole market of collectors that was starved of Star Wars stuff. So they did get a lot better um, as it went on. So this is one we always wanted from the first line, but we never got. Old Grand Moff Tarkin himself. What's his name? Wilhuff? Wilhelm? I'm going to say yes, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, you must learn it. It'll be in a Star Wars quiz one day. Yeah, it, and it's a good figure. They haven't made him stupidly hench. Um, you can tell who it is. And the face sculpt is pretty make, good, actually. Quite Come impressive on. to make a hench Peter Cushing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> really? That would be... <laughs> it's what the world needs, Van Helsing's revenge. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. And to be honest, it looks more like uh, Peter Cushing than that bloody CGI from Rogue One, mm. really. Um, I think the only problem with it is he's got giant hands in proportion to everything oh. else to hold the ridiculously oversized weapons that they Yeah, with. they were still in the big gun phase. That is true. There is a problem with the hands. Go and show us what is probably the Dark best stuff. of this. The finest. 
figure possibly of the whole line. I think. It's nobody's favourite character, Bosk, but my god, is the figure good. Right, all the proportions are correct. The detailing is fantastic. Look at each little scale on the arm there. The head, I mean, it's absolutely perfect, isn't it? It really is. The, surely they have never bettered this figure I don't for Bosk. Think they did release one much later. I think there was one in the vintage collection or something. But this one kept getting reprinted for years and years and years. I think they hit a high point with, with Bosk. It is bloody good. You couldn't ask for more. I mean, all the details there... All you could ask for is more articulation, yeah. I suppose, really. Because, you know, everything is in place. Uh, they did even go back and eventually rectify Luke Skywalker to make him look like human proportion. Um, <laughs> That's always a good start. The face is noticeably better as well. Yeah. His old Bespin fatigues. And he's got a removable hand. <gasps> just no like way. in the movie. Whoop, whoop. An action feature actually based on something from the film. It does look a bit weird when you've taken it off. Just kind of hold. <laughs> Cyber Luke. I like the, the stoicism on his face just suggests acceptance of this. Like, I cannot change what I do not have the power to change. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of stoicism there, say the least. Ah, oh, dearie me. Go on, show us greed. Let's finish on good old Greedo. I'll finish on a high note. Yeah, another good figure. Because originally the Greedo figure, they basically had to make the body up because Lucasfilm hadn't given them the yeah. uh, actual designs from the film at the time. And this one actually looks like the figure did. And this is the first one released that did, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's the first proper Greedo. I think, ironically, with this figure, he's got really toned legs. And, yeah. Like, that are not proportionate to... Like, if you took his legs and put them on Han Solo, you would probably <laughs> have a figure that was in... Yeah, those game. are frighteningly muscular thighs. but And maybe the head's a little small, but the detailing on it is fantastic. I mean, look at that. Every little wart in place, every little Rodian hair, all the weird head stuff they have going on technical terms there yeah. oh dearie me that's nice and he can even sit down yeah you, he can pilot the millennium <laughs> <laughs> you're fired solo oh dearie me my god that was a set of stuff yeah so basically if you're time traveling back to the 90s and want to get something that's worth a lot of money don't bother with these because you can pick them up but in almost any second-hand place or flea market, for almost nothing, basically. Yeah, it's... Um, I mean, we've seen, what, uh, actual mint-on-card ones for £5. Yeah, less, less. I think I um, I think I paid three quid for that Luke Skywalker, the, this one. Good God. Yeah, yeah, like, it's crazy. <sighs> oh, well, at least my beanie babies will make me rich. Subscribe for more...